In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you five biological reasons why you're always tired and the specific fix you can try for each. I'm Adrian. I've been a family physician for 17 plus years and I help people feel and perform better and live longer using simple science-backed habits that fit into busy lives. First, your sleep quality is declining. Second, hormonal shifts are directly draining your energy reserves. Chronic inflammation acts like a slow burn that steals your vitality. Fourth, Nutrition deficiencies create bottlenecks in your energy production. And fifth, unmanaged stress disrupts your entire system. Let's start with what happens to your brain as you age. Most people think getting older means being tired, but there's a specific brain change that happens around 35 that nobody talks about. Your sleep architecture fundamentally shifts in your mid-30s, affecting the quality of rest you get each night. This isn't about how long you sleep, it's about what happens inside your brain while you're sleeping. Even people getting eight hours of sleep can wake up exhausted because their brain waves have changed. Think of your brain like a smartphone battery. When it's new, it charges quickly and holds power well. But as it ages, the charging process can become less efficient. Your brain works the same way after 35. The problem centres on something called slow wave sleep. This is the deepest stage of sleep where your brain does its most important restoration work. It clears waste products, consolidates memories, and recharges your energy systems. Research from a landmark JAMA study shows that deep sleep decreases by 2% per decade after 35, continuing until around age 60. That means by age 55, you're getting 40% less restorative sleep than you did at 25. Your circadian rhythm also weakens with age. Think of it as your body's master clock. When you're young, this clock runs precisely. It knows exactly when to release melatonin for sleep and cortisol for waking. But after 35, this internal timekeeper becomes less reliable. The signals get weaker and less coordinated. Sleep fragmentation increases too. You experience more frequent, brief arousals during the night without remembering them. These interruptions pull you out of deep sleep stages. You might think you sleep through the night, but your brain actually experienced multiple awakenings. Each interruption reduces the restorative power of your sleep. The temperature regulation system in your brain also changes. The core body temperature doesn't drop as much during sleep. This sounds minor, but that temperature drop is a key signal that triggers deep sleep. Without it, you spend more time in lighter sleep stages that don't restore your energy. Here's the good news. There's a proven method to restore sleep quality that doesn't involve medication. Cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia, or CBTI, is the gold standard treatment. Multiple studies confirm it's more effective than sleeping pills for long-term sleep improvement, with benefits that continue even after treatment ends. Here's some other things you can try. You can start with strategic light exposure. Get bright light within 30 minutes of waking up. This resets your circadian rhythm and strengthens your internal clock. Avoid screens for two hours before bed. The bright light disrupts melatonin production. And keep your bedroom at 65 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. This helps your core body temperature drop. But even perfect sleep habits can't fully restore your energy if shifting sex hormones are at play. There's sometimes a hormonal shift happening in your body that steals energy. Both men and women experience significant hormonal changes after 40 that directly impact energy levels. These changes work differently in each sex, but they both lead to the same outcome. For women, the problem can start with progesterone decline. This hormone doesn't just affect reproduction, it's a natural sleep promoter. When progesterone drops during menopause, you lose a key sleep signal. Your brain struggles to transition into deep sleep stages. At the same time, estrogen levels swing unpredictably. This creates a perfect storm for sleep disruption. The real energy thief comes from vasomotor symptoms. Hot flashes and night sweats affect many women going through menopause. Think of your internal thermostat going haywire. It randomly cranks up the heat in the middle of the night. You wake up drenched in sweat multiple times. Each episode pull you out of restorative sleep. Sleep disorders in menopause become significantly more prevalent, with studies showing rates ranging from 35 to 60% in postmenopausal women compared to much lower rates in premenopausal women. That's not a coincidence. Men face a different problem. Testosterone levels naturally decline by 1 to 2% per year, starting around age 30 as part of normal aging. However, there's also a concerning population wide decline occurring beyond normal aging. Studies show men today have significantly lower testosterone levels than men of the same age decades ago. When levels drop below 300 nanograms per deciliter, you can develop late onset hypogonadism. This creates a fatigue cascade that most men don't recognize. 
Low testosterone directly causes lethargy, decreased motivation, and poor sleep quality. It also triggers muscle loss and increased belly fat. More fat means more inflammation, which creates even more fatigue. The window of opportunity for hormone therapy matters for women starting hormone therapy within 10 years of menopause and under age 60 may offer the best risk-benefit profile with cardiovascular safety benefits. It effectively treats hot flashes and restores sleep quality. There are associated risks which you need to talk to your doctor about, but the benefits can outweigh the concern. For men with confirmed low testosterone, replacement therapy can reduce fatigue. The key is confirming low levels on two separate morning blood tests and ruling out other causes before starting treatment. These hormonal changes create a domino effect. Poor sleep leads to worse hormone production. Worse hormones lead to more fatigue. Evidence-based treatments can restore hormonal balance safely when used properly. The critical factor is working with a healthcare provider who understands and can assess your individual risk profile. But there's another factor. Your body is fighting a slow-burning fire that's draining your energy every day, and most people have no idea it's happening. This fire is called inflammaging. It's a measurable biological process that researchers now clearly link to chronic fatigue through specific mechanisms. It sends signals to your brain that mimic being sick, creating chronic exhaustion. When your body detects inflammation, it triggers something called sickness behaviour. This is your brain's way of conserving energy to fight what it thinks is an infection. The symptoms are fatigue, lethargy and loss of motivation. But when inflammation becomes chronic, your brain stays stuck in this sick mode. Think of yourselves like workers in a factory. As you age, some workers get old and stop doing their jobs properly. These are called senescent cells. Instead of retiring quietly, they start causing trouble. They release inflammatory chemicals that spread throughout your body. It's like having troublemakers in your workplace who make everyone less productive. Your gut can also fuel this inflammatory fire. Age-related changes in gut bacteria create what scientists call dysbiosis. When your gut barrier weakens, bacterial toxins leak into your bloodstream. This triggers your immune system to release more inflammatory signals. Think of it like a leaky roof that lets water damage spread throughout your house. The inflammatory chemicals doing the most damage are cytokines like interleukin-6 and TNF-alpha. These molecules cross the blood-brain barrier and communicate directly with your central nervous system. When these cytokines are elevated, they trigger that sickness behavior response. Your brain receives a constant signal to be tired and withdrawn. And visceral fat acts like an inflammatory organ. The fat around your organs actively secrete interleukin-6 and TNF-alpha. This creates a vicious cycle. More inflammation leads to fatigue. More fatigue leads to less activity. Less activity leads to more belly fat and more belly fat produces more inflammation. You can actually measure this fatigue causing inflammation with blood tests. High sensitivity C-reactive protein or HSCRP and interleukin-6 levels directly correlate with how tired you feel. Studies show that people with elevated levels of both markers score significantly lower on energy scales. The good news is that proven dietary and lifestyle interventions can extinguish this inflammatory fire. The Mediterranean diet is a well-studied anti-inflammatory eating pattern. It's rich in omega-3 fatty acids from fish, polyphenols from colourful vegetables, and fibre that feeds beneficial gut bacteria. These compounds actively help turn off inflammation. Regular exercise works as a powerful anti-inflammatory therapy. It reduces visceral fat mass and releases anti-inflammatory molecules called myokins from your muscles. Studies consistently show that people following Mediterranean eating patterns and exercising regularly have lower levels of inflammatory markers. Of course, there's many other diets, your body, your rules. And there's one other lifestyle factor that fans these inflammatory flames like nothing else. And we'll tackle that next. Chronic stress acts as the match that can fuel every fire we've talked about. It creates HPA axis dysfunction, which disrupts your natural cortisol rhythm. Instead of high cortisol in the morning and low at night, you get the opposite. This causes profound morning fatigue and evening restlessness. Start with your biggest problem first. If you wake up tired despite sleeping, fix your sleep architecture. Maybe try something like cognitive behavioural therapy. If you're a woman with hot flashes or a man with consistently low energy, maybe look into checking your hormones. If you feel sick and tired constantly, think about inflammation and maybe try diet and exercise changes. And it's important to work with your healthcare provider to determine the best approach for your specific situation. So whether it's brain chemistry changes, hormonal shifts, chronic inflammation, nutrient gaps, or stress overload, 
These five drivers are fixable with targeted action. If this video has been helpful, you want to watch this one next. It's picked to help you learn more. Click it now and I'll see you there and thanks for watching.